I came back to Belmore. Oh, shit. This dude got locked up. Oh, shit. They locking people up. I came back here to Belmore just to check and see if uh, Trump supporters were still out here and whether or not we were still having uh, any uh, car show. And naturally, the Trump supporters are still out here. I can't believe these people are out here. And it's cold. That dude back there got locked up, yo. Sitting on the sitting on the sidewalk just locked up what'd you do what did you do what did you do in the criminal justice system street racing offenses are considered especially heinous in new york city the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the street racing prevention unit these are their stories <laughs> Hey, top of the morning, John. So I just want to give you my physical take on why I feel the way I feel about the Grand Cherokee O. Number one, the way the Uconnect system, or shall I say the touchscreen flows in with the dashboard, that's what I like. That floating touchscreen design that they have, I'm not a fan of. You know, that's something that they have in uh, Mazda. I want to also say Lexus has a floating touchscreen. I'm not too sure, but I know BMW for sure where the fucking thing sticks up like right here on top of the dash you know another thing is that I, this is my thing a stick shift is my thing don't mind my radar detector right there that's uh that's a money saver right there trust me but anyways you know this whole situation with the stick shift being a rotary shifter and you know even still like you know i don't know i'm just not a fan i'm really not i'm glad that they kept the panoramic roof However, I think they should have been able to extend the panoramic roof a little bit more because there is a third row. So there's a lot of things that I feel like they should have upgraded because I know that price is gonna be upgraded. And to be honest with you, it's, uh, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know if it's for me. I really don't. People who bought Trackhawks that uh, came out I think they feel as cheated as the people who bought 2012 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee SRTs. Now, this is weird. That car says 4x4 on it, and it says SRT, but I know damn well that's not an SRT because it doesn't have the dual exhaust pipes, for one. It's dolled up to look like one, but I'm like, wait a minute. Look at that bumper. That's not an SRT. Who are you fooling? Who are you fooling? This guy's trying to fool people. You're up there telling people porky pies. SRTs do not say 4x4 on them. And on top of that, you're supposed to have an LED light strip. You don't. You're, you're trying to trick us. Why are you trying to trick us, fool? You must think we dumb. Had a little problem here. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this crash. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That was some crash. My God. So after that, seeing that lady yesterday who had that uh, blue, uh, what was it called? Uh, she had a blue, uh, I think she had like a regular model, but that, I see this guy right here. This guy's got this uh, scat pack, I guess it is, because it says RT on one side and it's got 392 on the other. I, I, I don't know all of the, uh, <laughs> the sub variants. It's like I'm only looking for that Hellcat logo. If I don't see that, it's like I just stop looking. But I do like that color. I do like that color. And a lot, you know, there's some people be uh, sending me uh, messages and they're like, should I get a used Hellcat or should I get a new Scat Pack? And to tell you the truth, you're probably better off getting a new Scat Pack because the costs of maintenance are so much lower. I mean, nobody really wants to pay $1,000 for rotors and $500 for pads and all that when you could pay half of that and uh, it make it easier on yourself to maintain your car, you know? Because these, regardless of what anybody says, I mean, these things are fun, but you know what? You got to pay to play. These things can be quite expensive. I mean, what's your option? Getting one of these stupid CRVs right there with the Blue Lives Matter logo? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's he going? 
I'm gonna get CRV with a Blue Lives Matter logo, hoping that the the uh, cops don't uh, pull you over because you're showing your appreciation for fascism. Yeah, that's that's not a good thing right there. That's not a good thing at all. Got this Mustang right here. You can get one of those. Get the electric version. I would get the electric version. The electric version looks pretty cool. And, and after all, since you're not going to be getting like a real V8 engine and all you'll be able to get is like a twin turbo hair dryer V6, you might as well just get the electric version. You know, again, these electric stocks, man, that's where you got to position yourself. You got to get these electric vehicle stocks because electric vehicles are going to kill the four cylinder and they're going to kill the V6 because driving an electric vehicle is just so much better than driving one of those stupid four cylinders and one of those. You know, those lackluster V6s. And granted, there are some V6s that are okay, but most of them just really aren't. You know? You want that torque, you want that horsepower, you're going to have to either go V8, or you're going to have to go electric. It's like two options. Both of them are, you know, expensive, but only one of them really gives you what you really want. Well, what is this guy doing? Yeah, pick a lane and stay in it. What are you doing? These people. So of course it's a woman. Oh, look at this aggressive female school bus driver. My God. You know how they say believe all women? Well, if I was a traffic cop, I wouldn't when she says she wasn't driving aggressively. Yes, you are. Both of you. GLC. <laughs> navigator right here yeah jeep on um they have a new uh jeep that they're about to unveil on the seventh so they're about to show us what the new jeep product is and they say it's a three row i'm fairly certain before it even comes out that it's probably going to be based on like the durango not because i really don't think that they're going to change these platforms the reality is nobody cares about the platform that the Charger and the Challenger are on. Nobody cares. What they, you know, they're they're very happy with the size of the car. They're very happy with the power. They're very happy with the handling. And I'm very certain they're happy with all the options. Because you can go from, what, what, a 300 horsepower V6 all the way up to 800 and something horsepower for a super stock. So I, I really don't think anybody really cares about the uh, platforms. What they want is they want something that looks different. That's what it is. Now, I don't know how Jeep's going to do it, but uh, in two days, we're going to find out what the new Jeep looks like, whatever it is they're putting out. I don't know if it's going to be a Wagoneer or if it's just going to be a three-row version of my car, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. My guess is it's going to be Jeep's version of the Dodge Durango like that one right there. And if that's what they do, as long as they upgrade the interior and they give you more features and everything, so be it. Because people are going to buy them anyway. These things are cool. Like, look at this Durango. Who the hell wants to drive a three-row anything? Like one of those ugly Honda Pilots or one of those those just boring... Look at that Infinity. Nobody wants that. The only people who want that are people who get suckered in by their lease deals. But, the, ugh, those things are so boring. And they're so small. Like, I don't want no damn MDX. I don't want an RDX. I don't want an MDX. You can keep that stuff. This is what I want. I want a nice big man van. Something that's big and fun and imposing and just fast and cool. I mean, they got the Durango Hellcat coming. They don't have no Infinity Hellcat. <laughs> I don't want that. They, they don't have it, number one. And number two, even if they did have it, I wouldn't want it because it says Infinity on it. I don't want that. Look at this, look at this thing, look at this thing, oh my god, look at, look at this thing, that thing looks like it's about to fall apart. In fact, I'll tell you, Japan and China, they're not even going to have cars like this within the next 20 years, they're going electric, everything's going to be electric, so you won't have these fart can mufflers on the back of these, these horrible little, like, ugly, <laughs> like, that thing is, like, so ugly, but, you know what? Whatever, it's an old model, so I guess it gets away with it. Oh. Welcome to Queens. Uh-oh, something's happening up here. I see the police lights, but I'm not exactly sure 
what's going on. This must be some of that violence that uh, the right wing keeps on insisting is causing people to leave New York City in droves. But what's strange is a lot of them don't seem to be leaving because I always seem to be surrounded by traffic. So I guess none of what they're saying is true, huh? Yeah, that looks like it's probably, you know, the reality. I wonder what's going on up there. Somebody got pulled over. But I have to assume that if the cops pulled him over right there, then it's probably for making a left turn when they shouldn't have or running the light. But i uh, find out in a second. Yeah, imagine having to deal with this bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic every single day as punishment for not making it out of the city before 2 o'clock. Because right now it's 6 11. If you don't get into and out of the city, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, something bad happened. Uh oh, somebody got hit. That's what it is. Somebody got hit. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, uh oh. Oh my god. Wait, no, you go. Be careful, be careful. Oh, shoot. Uh oh, uh oh. What's going on here? What's going on? Yeah, that's right. Hey, what's up? Yeah, look at me. Yeah, uh-oh. Oh, well. Guys, up there looking at me. What do you think this is, homie? You public property. Be up there giving me a weird look. Yeah, that's right. I rubber neck. Yeah, it's boring out here. Ain't nothing going on. If everybody uh, just drives straight and everything, we can all make it home, no problem. All y'all gotta do is pay attention. Stop talking to your wife on the phone. Pay attention to the road. You'll be okay. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. I get on to this damn Belt Parkway. It's a Southern State Parkway. This sucks. Look at this bumper to bumper traffic. Now the right wingers keep saying that everybody's leaving New York. Why won't you people leave? If I could, I'd ship all y'all down to Georgia. So this way we can dominate the Electoral College in all of these red states and ensure that they never elect another moron Republican president ever again. That's what I'd do. I'd get rid of all of you people. Like, you know, like when they say on Patriot, they say everybody's leaving New York. Here's my question. How can I make more of these people leave faster? If I could only, if I could get rid of about 5 million of these losers, traffic would be fabulous. I'd be able to go anywhere at 80 miles an hour, no problem. This is ridiculous. We got some serious, serious traffic out here. This uh, is backed up for the last three miles, and so now I get to finally find out what's got us all backed up. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Lincoln Navigator. Oh, no. A Honda Civic. Oh, my God, look at his wheel. Oh, my God, the dude's wheel's torn off. Oh, my God. Now, let me tell you something. This right here is exactly what we're talking about. This right here is exactly why you need a dash camera. Holy shit. This right here is exactly why you need... Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's exactly why you need a dash cam. My God. Two Japanese Sakano boxes basically destroyed each other. Now, if you've got a dash camera, you have the ability to tell the judge and the jury, whether or not what happened is your fault or not. And if you don't have a dash camera, well, by God, you ain't gonna be able to tell them nothing. What's going on up here? Somebody stopped up here. I don't know what, uh-oh. Somebody stopped. I don't, oh, wait, wait, car broke down. Somebody's car broke down. Come on, all right, wait, 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 no, no, okay. Goddamn, I just, Hondas holding up traffic. Nice boy. I just think it's so amazing how many of these Jeep Grand Cherokees have been sold. Look at this guy right here. Now, this guy's got a regular silver one. Then you got this guy right in front of him. I think that guy has a blue one, right? So then there's me, who's silver. So you got one silver, one blue, and then you got another silver one right next to this guy. It's like all these losers. I got to get right in between y'all losers. Look at this one two is me and then there's this guy right here look at this all these damn so vast jeeps man i swear to god man christ almost had a sale i think they sell like three hundred thousand of these goddamn things every single year like 
that's amazing. I don't know. Is it ever going to get to a point where that new one sells this well? Because I really don't think so. I mean, it might, but I, I mean, you think about it. When that car comes out, it's going to be coming out after a pandemic. There's all these people have lost their jobs. And besides, you've got a market where there's so many of these damn things available. It's like, why would you buy the new one? It's like, it'll take years for that to happen. Probably about 10 years, maybe 15 years. Where you could have like all these damn cheap snakes. Look at this guy. This guy thinks he has sport handling. Like he thinks he can just bob and weave. You can't do that. Uh oh, three silver Jeeps in a row. Look at that shit. Look at that. Look at that. We got a caravan going on here. It's three silver Jeeps in a row. Look at that shit. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That guy up front, he's in, must be in a rush or something. He must be on his way to get some scooch. This guy's in a rush. He's trying to endanger the public and everything, driving like that. I know there's somebody probably in one of those cars. They're like, oh, my God, are there really three of those damn things in a row? And be like, yeah, there are. It's amazing. And this is not the first time I've found myself surrounded by silver Jeeps. It's not the first time. I, I In another video somewhere... I swear to God, there were like four of them or five of them. They were all silver. It was crazy. It was just crazy. It's like, it's, this is just weird. It's not supposed to happen like that. It's just not. I have to say, though, they look way better than a 2021. That 2021 looks like, uh, it looks like they just weren't trying. They just weren't trying, weren't they? All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the pack. I'm going to get in front of these guys. These guys are driving too slow because they got the V6s. I think the other one left, but okay, that's fine. Either he left or that guy, oh my God, Jesus Christ. I think those guys, I think the other guy was speeding or something. He's like way ahead. Oh, whoa. All right, that's all this damn traffic. about to say it too you got to be so careful speeding because you never know when there's the cops and they'll be waiting on the side i think i think the cops just went out to somebody uh oh either that was a cop or an ambulance we'll find out in a minute oh boy oh boy nah, that's definitely an ambulance cops usually be waiting right here with their radar guns pointed this way trying to catch people who you know the unsuspecting Uh, pretty good traffic though thanks to you know coronavirus got half these people at home so you know traffic's not that bad at least that's a good thing normally around now 523 normally coming out of the city heading to any part of Long Island is a nightmare there are some people who have to drive like 60 miles a day Okay, yeah, he's on his way to what used to be Franklin General Hospital over there. Yeah, so far so good. I don't see any camping cops, so that's a good thing. So it looks like as long as everybody, you know, keeps doing about the same 60 or 70 miles per hour, cops aren't going to bother us because it's the flow of traffic. So that's good. What's this guy doing? It's like this guy's got to be extra special, right? That goddamn Honda's. Look at this. Oh, shit. I don't know. What's going on? There? All right. Well, so far, so good. Flowing smoothly. No problem. See, it looks like I spoke too fast. Here I am thinking that everything was going fine. Everything's going. One of these people, of course, you, you think that everybody could just drive straight and everybody could just have a good time and just get home. Sure enough, one of these people screw up, right? And this is what causes the traffic every single day it never fails it's like either the cops pull over somebody and then we all drive by real slow to see who they pull over and why okay who they pull over yup got look at that subaru yup yup that's what it is 
damn Subarus, those stupid fart cans, always racing in and out of traffic. Guess what? Now you got caught. That's what happens. And now you hold me up, making it take longer for me to get home while you're getting your nice fat ticket for $750. Good for you, dummy. Gentlemen, you aren't going to believe this. So here I am. I go to Target, right? Now, I got to meet somebody at 530. I go to Target, and I got a woman comes up to me. I'm, I'm getting ready to leave. I'm getting ready to jet out of here. I come I'm about to leave, and she asks me, Oh, excuse me, sir. Could you please help me get my car started? I, I, and I'm like, what? Because <laughs> I thought she was going to ask for money. And she's like, oh, you know, I got a Nissan and it doesn't, you know, it says, uh, like, and as soon as I heard, okay, I've got a Nissan, I knew there was a problem. So she wants me to pull up and help start the car. So that's what I'm going to do right now. This should only take a couple of seconds. Hopefully I've got jumper cables. I was about to get out of it. I got to hurry up because it's 506. I got some place to be at 530. So let's let's hope this goes right. This is going to go all right. I just got to get the jumper cables. Guys, this is what we're talking about. We're helping people out here. Street race and prevention. Yeah, there's some corrosion right around here on that positive oh, lead. Yeah, uh, How old is this car? Four years old. Four years old. When was the last time the batteries changed? Been a minute. You might want to consider looking into that, have your battery tested, because I'm thinking it's possible you... Um, well, I don't think the wire is messed up. I think it's just a little corrosion there, but your battery might be old. Yeah, okay, you can get in the car, and when I tell you to, um, try to start it. I'm going to rev my engine a little. One thing I noticed, we have these little caps right here, and the cap tells you that there's a, a negative lead right here, and there's a positive lead right there. This is the first time I ever had to actually do this, so this is actually good to remember. You can see in the Hellcat, the battery's in the back, and I haven't done this shit in so long <laughs> until you almost forget all right so here we go big truck series breathing life into nissans breathing life oh yeah you got damn right we put in power we put in breathing life into nissans it's like when god touched adam and he said let there be life that's what he's talking about he said yeah we're gonna touch adam and say hey adam guess what you alive turkey let's go Okay, yeah, so let it run for a little while. Don't touch them. Make, yeah, just keep them separate. Yeah, so let it run for a little while. And uh, it should recharge the battery. All right. So, yeah, let it run for like two or three minutes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, get that battery checked. Is it, yeah, about 100 bucks is a new battery. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. For you're welcome, stuff. you're welcome. Y'all take care. Have a good night. Street racing prevention units out here breathing life into Nissans. How'd that happen? Man, she's lucky because usually I would have got right in the car and I would have been out of here. It would take me seconds. I would have been, I would have flown out of here because I got a place to be. But you know. All right, so that was fun. You learn something every day, right? This is the uh, frame out of the basement bathroom. So this. Wall selection right there has got a uh, air fan, a couple of recessed lights, and a walk-in uh, shower. And the only thing left is the uh, sink and the toilet to go right there. So I just started putting these tiles in. Got to finish with the grout. And uh, going to have a double uh, shower head there. So far, so good.
well, you know, there's a lot of traffic, so I, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Bye. like a giant they bus. Made this escalate any bigger? This thing looks like a goddamn bus. Look at that thing. It's so tall. Look at that thing compared to that Kia Telluride right next to it. Now the Kia Telluride is about the same size as me. Look how big that freaking Escalade is. My God. Jesus Christ. No wonder why that thing's like $100,000. You're paying for like two cars. That thing's a bus. A giant ass thing. My God. All right, let's let's get off Kia Telluride. You and your you you and your shitty non-sport handling. You gotta take these turns real slow, don't you? See me? I don't even use the brake. Look at look how closely I can turn to this line. I stay right on the line. I can't take that damn Telluride on no track. And you know what's funny? This new Jeep Grand Cherokee. Until they get real super-powered engine options, they're competing with a damn Kia Telluride. They're competing with a Kia Telluride and a Hyundai Palisade and a GV80 because they don't have any super engines yet. They need super engines. Three row cross, like the, the mommy wagon, that's what that is. And I'll give it to them, Hyundai Kia, they got you fully loaded, heated, cooled seats up front and back for like, what is it? Um, I think it's like less than $50,000. I think it's only like 40, uh, 49 or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool and everything. Thing about it is I don't want a mommy wagon. Shit. Most of the times I'm driving alone because I drive so fast and I drive through turns so fast until if I had kids in the car, they'd be flying around the back of the car. I don't want that. You know, somebody might call that child a danger, but you can't go fast in those cars. That's the reason why those do so well with families, because they're slow. You know, just like this RX350, that's the slowest super mommy wagon ever. Like, that's a compact, slow, super mommy wagon. So I'm here with my brother. We're shopping to buy a computer, and I'm taking a look. Now, you know I like HP. I like Dell Alienware, specifically Alienware. But one thing I just noticed is they got the uh, 3080. They have the 3080 HP Omen right here. So that's the 3080 RTX card, and it comes in this computer, 2049. Okay, so that's 8-core i7. 32 gigs of RAM, that's nice. One terabyte SSD, that's nice. I would upgrade to two terabytes at least, but that's that's nice right there. So this is 2049, that's a reasonable price, especially when you have a card in there that's basically $900 and it's really hard to get. And then look at this, I'm looking at, you know how I love my ultra wide monitors, look at this. This is 49 inch AOC for $1,000, which because it's AOC, I don't think I'd buy that one. But then they have this Hewlett Packard Omen over here, and this is 34 inch, the same size as my Dell Alienware, and that's a thousand dollars right there. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a nice uh, option right there. So I'm a little partial to that. And then over here, this is the new Alienware monitor. That's a thousand dollars right there. Okay, and it's it's like mine. It's the same size as mine. But see, my thing is they have a 38 inch monitor, and I think they're going to make that 38 inch monitor 4K. So I'd rather have the 4K model. So we'll see what happens. And then they have the little monitor right there. That's the 20 something, 27 or something. But this one's a 34. So I like that 34 right there. That's nice. This will cover any sort of like act of God. Um, so it'll cover abuse, but not a flood. Correct. Oh. No, no, no biblical <laughs> events. Right. How about an attack on the Capitol building? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully it does I hope not. Cover that. I hope not. Right. How much is uh, uh, that? Uh, that actually not going to check this real quick. Um, so for a year protection, it would be 100 and then for two years, it'd be 180 But I also have one that doesn't cover accidental. It'll cover internal. This, the accidental will also cover internal damage as well. So if you do any, if, if have any encounters where there's like flickering on the display itself or when the keys on the keyboard stop working, that's all covered on that. Um, so it looks like we're going to go for a laptop instead of a desktop. 
I'm waiting for Alienware to get the 3000 series video cards before I upgrade. Right now they're still at the, uh, right now they're still at the 2070. I'm waiting for the 3000 series. Mm -hmm. And then I can upgrade my old laptop. John, does he need antivirus? No. Windows comes with Defender. It's okay. Okay. So yeah, to be sure. Okay, so we'll take that. Okay, okay, so that is the one you're accidental. Like to, like to Microsoft or just to mm -hmm. be able to do... Microsoft Office at this point is a subscription, so they actually charge you over per time year. per year, yeah. Okay. Now what about a, a, a case or something to carry that? A laptop back. You, you gotta get that. So we want, let's get this, right? That one? With the one year accidental? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Come back over here. You remember the last time I was here, I was getting all those 3090s. Look at this. Look at these empty cases. There's nothing. You can't. If you wanted to play Cyberpunk, there's nothing to play it with. Look at this. There's nothing. Between uh, Bitcoin miners and Cyberpunk players, it's like there's nothing. It's just, there's nothing there. Damn shame. Nothing left. I'm going to eventually get one of these uh, quests. Possibly not the quest, but I might get one of these other ones. So this way, like when I'm watching the news and I'm making fun of like the capital under attack. It's like I can watch like the world burn in VR. My thing is, I, I want to have more resolution. So this way, this way you can watch the world burn in like 4K, you know? Oh, sorry about that. That's her. Well, in time, in time. I, I just can't pull the trigger on it. It's amazing. I spent $2,000 for a graphics card and I can't buy a $300 headset. I just can't justify it. I just can't, I just can't justify it. I don't know what it is. Oh. Okay, so we're going to get this computer right here. Got this little laptop. And uh, and that's the ball game. Love Micro Center. They always, I hope you got that free drone when I gave you that drone coupon. I hope you went and got your free drone. Micro Center, I shop here a lot. And Micro Center is always giving me some goodies. I like shopping here. Separating the tractor from the trailer in order to get it tilted over. Too much weight in the tractor. Pull them both over.
to be continued.